I am Sylvia Lima and in this video I will show you Camco's Secure Edge Compensation and how to use it. I will use the top layer of this job to illustrate the functionalities. Secure Edge Compensation can be opened in the main menu with Tools, Verify, Secure Edge Compensation. First let me explain the contents of this window. At the top of the window you can see the parameter sets. By opening the scroll down menu you see there are already different sets saved for further usage. It is possible to remove or modify existing ones or create new ones. The sets can be named so they will fit your linguistic usage of your company. I will use my spread 2030 clear 90. As you can see, with selecting one of the sets, all values have changed according to the saved settings. The copper spread, for example, can be different for different copper elements, like pads, SMDs, tracks or areas. In my example, I have 20 micron for pads and SMDs and 30 microns for tracks and areas. To be able to ensure the minimum clearance, a value for each combination could be set. For example, pet to pet, SMD to track or area to track. In my example, all clearances are set to 90 micron. The next element in the window is the process same net clearance. If the toggle is on, the system is forced to ensure the clearance between two copper elements of the same net. For example, a copper loop which is not closed will stay open with this option. The check missing original copper give back the information if and where original copper will be scratched away to ensure the clearance with the values you choose. Backup source layer creates a backup layer for every process layer, so a direct check of the results is possible. With Shift to Region, it is possible to shift the clearance so the copper that should be scratched away to ensure the minimum clearance is area copper and not copper on pads, tracks or SMDs. This even can reduce the original copper of areas. To prevent this, we have an additional setting, keep original copper of region if possible. Priority is always to keep original copper. With the check button, it is possible to get the selected values pre-checked with the layout. The errors found will be shown in the error handling window and you see directly where original copper will be affected. Apply starts the Secure Edge compensation process and Undo will undo the spread, delete what was modified by Secure Edge compensation and delete all backup layers. Let me show some examples to illustrate the results of Secure Edge compensation. For this, I will only show a small part of the PCB to make the results more visible. Let's start with the check of the values. With no other additional option activated, the system gives back the hours where the selected values will affect original copper. You can go through all of them. Like here, the first one is between these two copper elements. And this is a loop where there is one edge not connected. The error handling window give you the details. So the clearance was expected for 90 micron, as we said in our secure edge compensation window, and the system found 79.86 micron. You can decide to accept the scratching away of original copper modify your values or even modify your layout. For the next examples, I always use a backup source layer. 
so I will be able to show the results directly. As I mentioned in the overview, the option Process Same Net Clearance is forcing the system to ensure the clearance, for example, on this copper loop, which is open on one edge. And after the process, we can see with activating the backup source layer that there are two small blue areas. The original copper will be scratched away to ensure that we get 90 micron between the two copper elements. The next examples I show to illustrate the shift to region options, first without using the options at all. The progress bar is showing that we have to wait for a few seconds. With the backup layer active, it shows that the negative elements used by Secure Edge Compensation to ensure the minimum clearance are nicely placed in the middle between all elements. For example, here, pad to track, or there, a track to track, pad to region, or track to region. The spread copper of all elements is reduced. With the option Shift to Region activated, but not with the Keep Original Copper of Region, if possible, we will get a different result. The negative elements used to ensure the minimal clearance are moved in direction of the area, and therefore the copper spread on pads and tracks was maintained, like here. Or here. At this position you see the complete copper spread on the area was removed to ensure the copper spread on the pad. And on this position the original copper of the area was reduced to ensure the copper spread on the track below. Here. If we do not want to have the original copper affected, we can use the keep original copper of region if possible. We have to wait a few seconds again. And now we see the negative elements are moved to the region as far as no original copper of the area is affected like here or here. The rest of the copper will be removed from the copper spread of the elements around, like here the copper spread of the pad or here, more visible, the copper spread of the track. This is the end of your Congo Secure Edge Compensation video. Thank you for viewing it.